Hello everyone, today we'll be talking about how you can install your assets using Webpack with our latest product called Good. Now to get Good, or to basically purchase and download Good, you just need to go to Bootstrap's marketplace or theme page where you can download all of Bootstrap's themes and it's basically called themes.getbootstrap.com and then here you can see one of our, the latest products available in Bootstrap's marketplace is our React version but in this case, we are talking about the HTML version. So if you scroll, scroll down a little bit more, you see HTML version right here. So what you can do is just click on this and then go ahead and add to cart. And once you've done that, it should look something like this. And let's go to our, this unzip it, unpack it, and then go into the folder. And it should look very similar with our other products like Metronic and Keen. So to do install Webpack or install your assets via Webpack, all you need to do is go to our tools folder as usual, go to theme, go to tools and open up your terminal or command prompt. So type in CMD and then you have the command prompt open and just key in your Webpack command to build your assets. Now, if you don't know where your Webpack commands are located, that's also fairly simple. It's located within our documentation. So within the unpacked good package, Go to your dist and open the index in your browser and then scroll down to your documentation right here click on that go to build and go to webpack and in here just follow the steps to install your npm your yarn and so on so here is where you install off all of your dependencies and then this is where we run our build so let's go ahead and do that within our command prompt npm run build as you can see, there's an error that's, that's popping up. That's totally fine because if you read our documentation, there is something that we need to edit or change within the package.json. What we need to do is remove this type, this field or this parameter on type module. So let's do go ahead and do that. So you go into our tools folder and in our package.json right here, let's go ahead and open it with our Visual Studio and this is the line that we need to remove if we want to run with webpack so let's delete that and save open up our command prompt again and then run the same command let's do that all right webpack is done now let's go ahead and do next step or another step which is to run localhost to do that we need to run gulp localhost and do that Right, when this happens, that's fine as well because what we need to do is to put back the, the tools, the, the type module, well, I mean, into the file, save that, and let's go ahead and try it again. Yep, so let's copy this URL and put it into our browser and go to dist, and now good is running using the assets built with Webpack. So that's it for this video. Hope you find this uh, video informative. If you did, give us a like. And please also subscribe to our YouTube channel because we will be releasing a lot more good videos or videos related to our new product, Good. And turn on the notification bell so that when we release a video, you get an update. Please also follow us on our social medias. Links will be in the description below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.